guys, so today is the last day before we leave for our next trip. We're attempting to film a whole video in one day. It normally takes us about two days, so I'm a little bit stressed with trying to get this done. One of my friends is actually gonna come help us film since both of us are gonna be in some shots, so I think it'll just like hopefully speed up the process so we don't have to like set up the tripod like a million different places. We are trying to get things cleaned up a little bit, make sure that when we come home, we don't come home to a super, super messy house because that's what happened last time and it really sucked to like push our door open and just see a huge disaster. So we're gonna try and make sure that everything is cleaned before we leave. I haven't packed yet. I'm waiting for the last load of laundry to be done. My hair looks really weird today. I tried to curl it in like six different pieces because I was in a hurry and now it looks weird right here. Do you guys see that? But yeah, so we're gonna be packing today and then we also have to run out to the store, um, to our store and we have to take some new shelves out there because we are running out of space. Okay guys, so you know my friend Camber. This is her first. Oh no, this isn't the first video that you've been in. Okay guys. Like this time of year. I'm gonna link a video down below. There's one of us getting ready for something, someone's party like five years ago. I'm gonna link it down below. It's probably private. Anyways, we're filming a little lunch scene right now. Parker's over here with the camera. Cam's being my friend for the video. <laughs> Only for the okay, video. <laughs> for this part of the vlog, I need Parker to, or not the vlog, the video. I need Parker to take a picture of himself trying to look sexy. <laughs> oh wait, but it's supposed to be a picture that I took of you. Hold on, let me see. Uh, no, that's like too, too funny. Try to be like, funny. like a model. Hold on, let me come from the other side though. That is my model. My Don't do a peace model. sign. <laughs> okay, I'll hurry and take it. Ready? <laughs> Babe, okay. come on, you can do it. You're sexy. We're now walking across the street to our second location. Oh my gosh, there's cars. This is location number two, 25 Main. We come here to eat all the time. It's really good. finished our last shot of the day besides my intro and outro. Parker's about to try this, the Thin Mint Gum. Give it a sec to absorb the flavor. Mm. I can smell it. It kind of tastes like Thin Mints. What do you think of chocolate flavored gum? It's not bad. I gotta take that. Yes it is. Back. It's bad. Okay guys, so it is like what, 12 p.m., like 11? 45, 11.41. We've had it the craziest day, so we shot our whole video today, which was super awesome. My friend Camber helped us, and that was seriously just so helpful. I feel like it was good because we had somebody else that was like depending on us to like be on schedule, so we weren't like wasting her time, and she wasn't just like sitting there. It was really good, because sometimes if we're like on our own, we're like, oh, we have to get one more shot, but like let's take a break for an hour and then get it. So it was actually super helpful and super nice. I am about to pack. Parker got a call earlier, and they overbooked our flight, so they offered to um, upgrade our seats we have six people so they could do four upgrades and then they gave us like seven hundred dollar vouchers for the two other people Parker says they only told him that they were changing our second flight because tomorrow we fly from Vegas to JFK and then JFK to London so he bait the guy said that it was only changing our second flight and it was only making it like an hour earlier so basically we just had like an hour shorter of a layover so we were like okay cool like that's fine and then we get the confirmation email and he also changed our original flight when we're leaving we were supposed to leave at like 10 30 a.m and now we are leaving at 8 a.m. and we're flying out of Vegas. So we now have to leave here at 4 a.m. Well, 4.30, 4.45, but that is so early. I still have to pack, I still have to wax my eyebrows. We're just barely getting all of our vlogs we filmed this week finished and uploaded. I didn't get my video. I wanted to edit my video today too. That didn't happen. So kind of stressed out for that because I didn't want to have to do it on my trip, but I did go to the store, our store, Luca and Gray, like the warehouse we keep all the clothes in, and I picked out some of our new stuff so i'm really excited to show you guys what i am bringing it's gonna be like 60 degrees not even 60 degrees i think that's freezing cold parker said that's what you wear like jeans and a short sleeve shirt in pretty sure i'm right it's just warm enough to wear pants but you still want to wear a short sleeve shirt you know? i think i'm gonna be pretty cold so i'm gonna take some big sweaters okay so we're gonna be there for about 10 days i'm gonna try and pack really light though because i really just hate like overpacking, and i would rather just wear like outfits multiple times so I'm only bringing two pairs of jeans, but jeans you can wear like a million times and it's fine. So I have a light pair, a black pair. Then I'm bringing this dress. This is seriously the prettiest dress ever. I will link it down below, but I'm doing like a prom Instagram for Nordstrom. And how cute is this? It was in their prom section. So I'm actually taking the picture for that while I'm on my trip. <laughs> Hope that doesn't get wrinkly because it'll be hard to iron. I don't know what to bring because I don't like, I don't know. I don't know what to bring. Do you think it will be that cold? I'm trying to decide if I should plan out my outfits or if I should just like fill my suitcase up and make it work because I don't really have a lot of time. I feel like the second option. The second option, okay. So I'm bringing this little tank top 
from our store. I want to try not to get my clothes wrinkly because we're staying in the Airbnb. I don't know if there's going to be an iron. So then I'm bringing this white t-shirt. This is from our store, but it's free people. It's really, really cute and really nice. So I'm packing this. Then I have this tank top that's also free people sold at our store. I figure I can, depending on the weather, I can just like take some like shirts and tank tops and stuff and then just like layer sweaters and all that stuff. So I'm rolling that up and putting that in here. Hopefully it's warm enough to wear some dresses because we have this dress in our store right now and it's so really beautiful. That didn't make any sense. But this is like so beautiful and it would be so cute in Greece. So I'm hoping that it's not like freezing, freezing cold. But I'm not very good with like temperature i don't know what 60 is or 50 or i don't know what any of those feel like then i have a gray t-shirt that is also from our store and i have this romper and it's so adorable and would be perfect for greece but again i don't know if it'll be too cold but i guess we'll take it anyways then for pajamas i'm taking these shorts then i have a black tank top to go with those then I just have a little pajama dress also. I'm only bringing two things in pajamas, but I don't have a lot of room, so. Okay, I'm getting stressed. I only have like one corner left in this side. Next is a sweater. So this is just like a really basic, cute, comfy sweater. I feel like this will keep me warm, so that'll be good. So this is also from the store. Stressing out about fitting these sweaters in here, guys. Like, how is, am I gonna fit four of those? Next, I have another sweater. So this one will also keep me warm, hopefully. How is this gonna work? Then I have like all my underwear and bralettes and like all that stuff. Sticking this in there. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna fit anything else. Should I bring a swimsuit? Are you bringing one? I don't think I'll use it. I'm gonna be in cold. I'm gonna be in cold too, but. But you're gonna be in grease all Do you think this would keep me warm enough oh, yeah. as like an over sweater? This is my main jacket that I'm taking. This is also from the store. I'm really excited about this. I feel like this will definitely keep me warm. So I think I'm gonna wear this on the plane along with these leggings. I missed a bra on accident. We also have these leggings that are like my favorite. I wear these all the time, but in purple and this is a gray color. So I kind of like these better because the purple's cute but it's a little like much sometimes so those are going in there i think that's probably all that's gonna fit in this side i hope i have enough clothes like i hope that's so bad i bet you'll get home and be like i didn't even use half this stuff that's what happened to me in the philippines i took like so many outfits i only filled up half of a carry-on suitcase with clothes and i'm not even kidding I probably only wore half of those. I was like, how did I do this? So then in this side, I gotta fit this jacket. This is like such nice quality, so I'm excited about this. Quick, I forgot about shoes. I'm gonna bring these shoes. These are the best. I kind of want to bring my lace-up flats, but these I think will be better for this trip. Okay, so I think I want to bring three pairs of shoes. I'm going to bring these. These are always my go-to shoes, but they make my feet smell really bad. And I think it's karma because I used to make fun of my sister because she would always have smelly feet. And I would be like, oh, I never have smelly feet. And I never used to. And now I figured out that the source of smelly feet, I think, is shoes. I don't know. I either need to wash these or just get a new pair. I should probably wash them, but I feel like stuff like this like just can't last forever. So I'm trying to decide between where wearing those and wearing my black boots on the plane because these are gonna take up more room so i think i'm gonna wear these even though yeah i am because if i'm gonna like take my shoes off on the airplane when i'm like sleeping or something i don't want my feet to be smelly so i'm gonna put these in my suitcase then all that i have to put in here is like my toiletry bag so i think if i squeeze i can make it work okay so i'm gonna try and fit everything in this little bag so i have shampoo Wait, is that? Yeah, shampoo, conditioner, hairspray. This is definitely not gonna all fit. What am I thinking? Freak. Okay, I'm gonna have to take two bags, I guess. London is the only place I've ever been that they actually make you like take out all your liquids and they have to fit in the little bag. And I swear, the little bag is only this big. So every time we fly through there, I get really stressed out because normally you can like take more liquids than this. Like even if they, this is probably bad advice, but like even if they say it's supposed to fit in here, I've never had issues except in London. I usually have like more than one bag. So don't know what I'm gonna do. This bag looked bigger than I thought. So I need shampoo and conditioner. I need hairspray. I need this. I need body wash. I need body and face lotion. And I need 
Face wash. Where do I have face wash? I also have these bags of stuff. See, normally I have like four bags. Perfume. This one is my favorite. It's Heavenly by um, Victoria's Secret. All these things are like mostly gone, so I got new ones. Tanning towelettes. This thing, this is why you should always freaking put your stuff in plastic bags. This thing like exploded. You guys want to see what this is? Oh my gosh, something else exploded too. What the freak? Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, I hate my life. Major shampoo explosion. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? Literally, it's like a huge disaster. Anyways, what's wrapped up in here, like an eye thingy that you wouldn't think would explode, but somehow it did. It's like this. Like what the freak, babe? My stuff exploded. Parker is over here attempting to wax his own eyebrows. Also, cute husband, he always writes me notes on the mirror. Oh wow, that's been there for <laughs> a ever. long time. I don't ever want do to take it off. Uh, no. What if Are it you is? sure you don't want me to help you, babe? Maybe I can do the first part by myself. Okay. Okay, guys, I got it all figured out because I found this thing. But I do think I am going to take another little. Well, I guess I can. Oh my gosh, it's all over my razor. That is like destroyed. Okay, so I just remembered about my makeup bag. So I think I'm going to shove that right here and then put my toiletry bag on my shoes. Let's all say a prayer. This does doesn't explode. I'm like scared. Should I put this in? I'm gonna put it in an extra plastic bag just in case. I have a bad feeling guys. So I am gonna put it in another bag because I swear every single time, every single time something spills. All right, the finishing touches. I added my curling iron, which is something I forget a lot actually. Then my makeup bag is going to squeeze in right here. I gotta go get a brush and then I think I'm finished. Now I'm gonna go wax my eyebrows. Let's see how Parker did on waxing his own. Let me see hands. What do you think? Looks good. I mean, it's, it's not that bad, but no one's going to be close enough to Just be kidding. able to notice. So that is all for our vlog today. Make sure you guys watch our next one because we're going to be on a fun little trip with our friends. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.